Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is that you're going to be watching this. Um, today I want to talk to you about what it really takes to accomplish your goals. And it really comes down to one thing. It's our logo, it's our slogan, it's everything that we embody here at the Fitness Edge. It's about push yourself. If you go in the gym and go through the motions and lift the same weights and do the same exercise and just, you know, don't get out of your comfort zone, you are never, ever going to reach any of the fitness goals that you set yourself for. Let's take an example. You go to a mainstream gym, and I used to work out at them. I used to run them. And you see the same guys and the same ladies come in and do the same thing. The women typically go and they get on the treadmill and they put that treadmill at an incline really high and they hold on and they just walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and walk for an hour, an hour and a half. It's amazing. And they wonder why they're not losing weight. And guys, they go into the gym. It's Monday. What do they do? They get down. They do a bench press. 225. Three sets of 10. Yep, they look pretty strong. But has their body changed at all? Has their strength changed at all? Uh, have they ever pushed themselves to do 235? 245? What about legs? Have you ever pushed yourself so hard on a leg workout that you literally wanted to fall asleep in exhaustion when it was over? Probably not. If you're running a mile and you run it one month in nine minutes and you want to run it the next month in eight minutes, what do you have to do? Do you have to just go out and run a mile every day and think that that's going to improve your time? No. You've got to push yourself to go a little bit faster, to push a little bit harder, to finish a little bit sooner than you did the week before or the month before. Nutrition. Nutrition can be easy, but it never is. You have to push yourself away from the table. You have to push yourself to count those calories, to weigh your food, to measure things out. You gotta push that little extra bit if you want to succeed in your fat loss or your performance goals. Let's take a high school athlete. They wanna be a college athlete or they wanna be a pro athlete. They're going to practice, they're going home, they're going to practice, they're going to home, but are they doing anything else to push their goals towards completion? Are they going to the gym after practice is over? Are they going to the gym before school starts because they don't have time, they have too much homework, they got, you know, two-hour practice and they want to see their family? So you're getting up early and you're going to the gym and working out in the morning? Or are you going out for that run? Are you going doing sprints on the weekend to try and make yourself bigger and faster? It's all about pushing past the limits that you think that are in front of you. There are no limits. That's what I'm trying to say. You've got to just go a little bit harder, a little bit further, okay? It's about pushing more than you want to get what you have to achieve, all right? So in the gym this weekend, this week coming up, I want you to challenge yourself to push a little bit harder. Does that mean do one extra burpee or... Pick up five pounds more for your shoulder presses or run a little bit faster on those sprints? Yeah, that's what it means. A little bit extra is going to go a long way in getting you to your goals. So don't quit on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. But instead, push yourself. I hope this gives you a little bit of motivation to go out and kill it today, tomorrow, this whole weekend, next week. And if you need a little push, come see us here at the Fitness Edge. We'll take care of you. We'll help you get it done. All right. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.